Baffin Bay, Inuktitut, Saknarushik Amanga, Greenlandic, Avanada Imaa, French, Bay de Baffin, located between Baffin Island and the southwest coast of Greenland, is a marginal sea of the North Atlantic Ocean. It is connected to the Atlantic via Davis Strait and the Labrador Sea. The narrower Nares Strait connects Baffin Bay with the Arctic Ocean. The bay is not navigable most of the year because of the ice cover and high density of floating ice and icebergs in the open areas. However, a pollinia of about 80,000 square kilometers (31,000 square miles), known as the North Water, opens in summer on the north near Smith Sound. Most of the aquatic life of the bay is concentrated near that region. Topic: <laughs> Extent. Topic: The International Hydrographic Organization defines the limits of Baffin Bay as follows: On the north. A line from Cape Sheridan, Grant Land, 82 degrees 35 and 60 degrees 45 W to Cape Bryant, Greenland. On the east, the west coast of Greenland. On the south, the parallel of 70 degrees north between Greenland and Baffin Land. On the west, the eastern limits of the Northwest Passages, the east coast of Ellesmere Island between Sea Sheridan and Cape Norton Shaw, 76 degrees 29 and 78 degrees 30 W, thence across to Phillips Point, Coburg Island, through this island to Marina Peninsula, 75 degrees 55 and 79 degrees 10 W, and across to Cape Fitzroy, Devon Island, down the east coast to Cape Sherard, Cape Osborne, 74 degrees 35 and 80 degrees 30 W, and across to Cape Liverpool, Bylot Island. Island 73 degrees 44 and 77 degrees 50 W, down the east coast of this island to Cape Graham Moore, its southeastern point, and thence across to Cape McCullough 72 degrees 29 and 75 degrees 08 W, and down the east coast of Baffin Island to East Bluff, its southeastern extremity, and thence the eastern limit of Hudson Strait. History the area of the bay has been inhabited since c. 500 BC. Around AD 1200, the initial Dorset settlers were replaced by the Thule the later Inuit peoples. Recent excavations also suggest that the Norse colonization of the Americas reached the shores of Baffin Bay sometime between the 10th and 14th centuries. The English explorer John Davis was the first recorded European to enter the bay, arriving in 1585. In 1612, a group of English merchants formed the Company of Merchants of London, Discoverers of the Northwest Passage. Their governor Thomas Smythe organized five expeditions to explore the northern coasts of Canada in search of a maritime passage to the Far East. Henry Hudson and Thomas Button's explored Hudson Bay, William Gibbons Labrador, and Robert Bylot Hudson Strait and the area which became known as Baffin's Bay after his pilot William Baffin. Aboard the Discovery, Baffin charted the area and named Lancaster, Smith, and Jones Sounds after members of his company. By the completion of his 1616 voyage, Baffin held out no hope of an ice-free passage and the area remained unexplored for another two centuries. Over time, his account came to be doubted until it was confirmed by John Ross's 1818 voyage. More advanced scientific studies followed in 1928, in the 1930s and after World War II by Danish, American and Canadian expeditions. Currently, there are a few Inuit settlements on the Canadian coast of the bay, including Arctic Bay population 690, Pond Inlet 1315, and Clyde River 820. Those settlements are accessed and supplied by air and annual sea lifts. In 1975, a town was built at Nanasivik to support lead and zinc production at the Nanasivik Mine, the first Canadian mine in the Arctic. The mine was closed in 2002 due to declining resources and metal prices. Whereas the town still has a functional seaport and an airport, as of the 2006 census, it has an official population of zero. Baffin Bay was the epicenter of a 7.3 magnitude earthquake in 1933. This is the largest known earthquake north of the Arctic Circle. It caused no damage because of its offshore location and the small number of the nearby onshore communities. The northwestern part of the bay remains one of the most seismically active regions in eastern Canada. Five earthquakes of magnitude 6 have occurred here since 1933. The latest strong earthquake occurred on 15 April 2010 and had the magnitude of 5.1. 
Geography and geology Baffin Bay is an arm of the Atlantic Ocean bounded by the Baffin Island in the west, Greenland in the east, and Ellesmere Island in the north. It connects to the Atlantic through the Davis Strait, and to the Arctic through several narrow channels of Nares Strait. It is a northwestern extension of the North Atlantic and Labrador Sea. It can also be viewed as a long strait separating Baffin Island and Greenland. The bay is less than 1,000 meters (3,300 feet) deep near the coast, where the sea bottom is covered with gravel, crushed stone, and sand. In the center, there is a deep pit called Baffin Hollow, reaching 2,136 meters (7,008 feet) sea depth map, which is mostly covered in silt. Currents form a cyclonic circulation. On the eastern periphery, in summer, the West Greenland Current transports water from the Atlantic Ocean to the north. In its western part, the Baffin Island Current brings the Arctic waters to the south. Topic: <laughs> Climate, hydrology, and hydrochemistry. Topic: The climate is Arctic with frequent storms, especially in winter. Average January temperatures are minus 20 degrees Celsius, minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit in the south, and minus 28 degrees Celsius, minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit on the north. In July, the average temperature is 7 degrees Celsius, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. The annual precipitation is 100 to 250 mm 3.9 to 9.8 in on the Greenland side and about twice as much near Baffin Island. The water temperature at the surface is below minus 1 degree Celsius 30 degrees Fahrenheit in winter. In summer, it varies from 4 to 5 degrees Celsius 39 to 41 degrees Fahrenheit in the southeast to 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit and below it northwest. The salinity exceeds parts per thousand in winter. In summer, it is on the east and 32 on the west. Deep waters are formed as a result of mixing of Arctic and Atlantic waters. Their temperature is about minus 0.5 degrees Celsius, 31.1 degrees Fahrenheit, and salinity is. In winter, 80% of the bay is covered with continuous ice, floating ice, and fast ice. In some winters, the continuous ice stretches from shore to shore. The ice is most abundant in March and least in August-September. In summer, drifting ice remains in the central and western parts of the bay. Numerous icebergs are formed in this period and are brought, together with ice, to the Atlantic Ocean near Newfoundland. The tides are semidiurnal, with an average height of 4 meters 13 feet and the maximum of 9 meters 30 feet. Their speed varies between 1 and 3.7 km per hour 0.62 and 2.30 miles per hour hour in the direction by as much as 180 degrees. This variability results in the collision and crushing of fresh, old, and pack ice. Winds are predominantly northwestern through the whole year. Southeastern and eastern winds are common in July and August. North water. Topic. Between May and July sometimes April, a significant portion of navigable open water Polynia forms at the extreme north of the bay, presumably due to the relatively warm Greenland current. With an area of about 80,000 square kilometers 31,000 square miles in summer, it is the largest Polynia of the Canadian Arctic and covers the Smith Sound between the Ellesmere Island and Greenland. This Polynia has a stable position and existed for at least 9,000 years. It was first described in 1616 by William Baffin and was named North Water by whalers of the 18 to 19 th centuries. Topic: <inaudible> Wildlife. Topic: The North Water provides air to ice algae and zooplankton and is characterized by abundant fauna. Of about 20,000 beluga whales living in the Baffin Bay, some 15,000 are concentrated at the North Water. Other abundant animals of the region include walrus, narwhal, harp seal, bearded seal, ringed seal, bowhead whale, rorquals and polar bear. All aquatic mammals crucially depend on the availability of open water, they have very limited ability to maintain breathing holes in ice and are all vulnerable to attacks by the polar bear when breathing at the holes. The seals and walrus occupy areas of fast ice, which is essential for giving birth and raising the pups. Bearded seals feed near the bottom of the bay and therefore are restricted to the shallow waters. Ringed seal is the most common meal of the polar bear. 
It is also an occasional prey of the walrus and arctic fox. Most large animals of the bay are being traditionally hunted, but the hunting has been restricted in the 20th century in order to preserve the wildlife population. For example, the quota for polar bears in the Bay Area is 105 per year. There are about 400 plant and tree species on the Bay shores, including birch, willow, alder, and plants adapted to salty soils, as well as lime grass, mosses, and lichens. These serve as food for caribou and rodents, such as lemming. Resident fish species include polar cod, arctic flounder liopseta, four-horned sculpin and caplin, whereas cod, haddock, herring, halibut, and rattail migrate from the Atlantic. The birds are represented by the little auk, snowy owl, willow ptarmigan, rock ptarmigan, gyrefalcon, arctic redpole and guillemots. Most of them migrate to the south during the winter. <laughs> Oil and gas The U.S. Geological Survey has estimated that at least 13% of the world's undiscovered oil deposits and 30% of the world's undiscovered gas pockets are located in the Arctic, with the seas around Greenland potentially holding large amounts of natural gas and lesser amounts of crude oil and natural gas liquids. Accordingly, the Greenland authorities have offered a large number of offshore concessions for potential hydrocarbon oil and gas extraction. The largest concession areas are located in seas west of Greenland, primarily in Baffin Bay and the Davis Strait, but with several smaller concessions in the Greenland Sea in the east also. See also 1968 Thule Air Base B-52 crash Notes Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Baffin, William. 1881. Markham, Clements R. Ed. The Voyages of William Baffin, 1612 to 1622. Hacklett Society. Baines, T. S. Ed. 1878. Baffin's Bay. Encyclopædia Britannica, 3 9th ed., New York, Charles Scribner's Sons, p. 229 Chisholm, Hugh, ed., 1911. "'Baffin Bay and Baffin Land". Encyclopædia Britannica, 3 11th ed., Cambridge University Press, pp. 192–193